It's a ban almost. The controversial timeout rooms will no longer be widely used in Alberta, but schools can still apply to use seclusion or isolation spaces. Like a prison cell and it had a little peephole, had a lock. Doesn't take any working group or time. No clothes on us, you know, and then he was sitting on the floor. After months of parents and disability advocates calling for an end of the practice of locking students in small spaces with doors locked from the outside, the minister officially calling for them to be out of Alberta schools come September. Teachers are going to be thinking, what will I do in September when issues happen in my classroom? The Alberta Teachers Association has some concerns about classroom safety and believe the use of these rooms is a symptom of not enough support for teachers since the rollout of the inclusion model, where students with disabilities are integrated in classrooms. Whether they're educational assistants or behavior specialists, uh, training for teachers. It, together it, it forms a, pa a package that will uh, ensure that we're doing the best. Some parents voicing concerns online. This father saying the rooms actually help his special needs son. Another wishing the minister took more time to consult teachers. And properly supporting teachers and school boards and schools so that they can really include these children and not confine them to these draconian spaces. Alberta's Liberal Party is disappointed the rooms could still be used if a school gets permission from a parent and applies to the ministry. They want an outright ban to start now. A question I brought to the minister. I line of this. Some people have said it's taken way too long. Uh, what I have done here with this ministerial order uh, begins the process by which to decommission seclusion rooms. If it happens even once, it's too often. Inclusion Alberta has been leading the call to ditch seclusion. They're thankful for the ban, but are concerned that parents could be coerced into signing seclusion into an education plan. This is now a real call for uh, an investment in appropriate training for um, schools, teachers and educators. Edmonton Public Schools says they are working on drafting policy for that September 1st deadline. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.